Hi, Jeff Hickman here today. Wanted to talk to you about the application of switch rods in spay casting. Um, I've been fishing more and more switch rods for all my steel heading. Um, it's just nice and light in your hand. It's very responsive. You don't get fatigued at the end of the day. And I find, especially in situations where you're casting where space is limited, um, it's especially a useful tool. Today I have a Ross Reach 7 weight. It's 11 foot 9 inch 7 weight switch rod. We're out here winter steelhead in Oregon and I find although this rod is a little on the light side for winter steelhead, it is what I've been using just about all year because I love to fish it. Um, the line I have on here is a Scientific Angler Skagit Extreme Head. I have 10 feet of T12 sink tip and an unweighted fly. And I find it throws this perfectly. This is a 440 grain Skagit Extreme head. Um, but since the rod is so short, I don't need a lot of room behind me to get the cast off, right? It's great in areas when I have a lot of bushes or overhanging trees, or I don't have a lot of room. Right here, the, the bank is right next to me. And what I find with a longer full-size spay rod, a lot of the time when you're casting that D loop, might be in the rocks and your fly might be bouncing off the rocks and nothing's worse than that. So um, the switch rod is a great tool for, for steelheading, really. It's becoming more and more viable. Thanks.